Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I am so stoked for this video. Not only is it my yearly favorites, because I like pretty much didn't do a whole year of favorites, so now I'm gonna go ahead and share my whole like year's worth of favorites with you guys, but I'm obsessed with this look. Yes, I did just go ahead and do this now. It's like 11 o'clock on a Saturday night. I didn't have to work tonight, and I decided to go ahead and play around with some of my makeup, and this, this just happened, so we are going with it. I'm obsessed with this look. I think this is the coolest thing ever. It's completely and totally out of my comfort zone. Like, are you gonna be black duochrome lips? Like, what has gotten into me? I don't even know, but I'm obsessed with this look. And yes, before you ask, because I know you're going to, there will be a tutorial on this look um, coming up shortly. So that's not what this video is about. This video is about my favorites and not only just any favorites, but my 2015 favorites. So these are like standout products to me that I go to all the time and that I think are absolutely amazing. So I do have quite a few products to go ahead and talk about. And since it is late and the rest of my house does want to go ahead and get to sleep, we are just going to go ahead and get started right away. So we're going to go ahead and start off with, I guess, face products. So first thing I have to discuss with you guys is this bad boy right here. This is the most incredible purchase I've ever made for my face. Um, this is the Yes to Blueberries Age Refresh Face and Neck Oil and it is paraben free and it is a 98% natural product this year or more so towards the end of the year. I really have been trying to go ahead and branch out and find more natural skin and body care products and I went ahead and I saw this at Ulta one day and it was in the clearance section so I was like okay five bucks seven bucks however much I paid for it why not go ahead and try it out. I am so glad I did. This is the most amazing oil I've ever used because it is not oily. I can literally, I use this at night, I use this on a random occasion when I am just feel like my face is dry and I want to put something on instead of my moisturizer, I use this all the time. I even put it on before putting my makeup on, like a face oil before putting makeup on, like that just sounds like it's going to slide right off, but this stuff does not. I, it's an oil but it just sinks into your skin so well and even considering it is an oil it is definitely on the drier side like there are some oils where it's like an oil slick and you're super shiny and everything like this this does not do that to your face at all so this has been a life-changing product for me and I am so glad I just happened to go ahead and come across it in the clearance section so that is the yes to blueberries face and neck oil Moving right along, I do want to go ahead and talk about this little primer right here. This is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More, and it's the Pore Thing with Evermatte. And this is a primer, and I love this stuff. It is the weirdest little consistency ever. Like, as you can see, it's this, like, little jelly thing. And the only thing is I find it is a little bit hard to apply. Like, it can be a pain in the butt to apply. And you do have to dip your fingers in it. It did come with, like, a little spoon to go ahead and scoop it out, but I lost it. Um, however, this stuff, it's a thin. It feels like you're spreading water on your face. And you're like, oh, this probably isn't going to do much because it just feels like water. But no, this has some sort of like magic in it and it like fills in my pores and it keeps me matte. It, I, I don't even know. Like my skin is so oily sometimes. Lately it's been more, it's been getting less and less oily and more towards normal to even dry sometimes if I'm using certain medicines. But this stuff is amazing. There's, since it's like that weird gel, like water consistency, if I do have any dry skin or anything like that, it doesn't cling to it or make my foundation then go ahead and cling to it, like those dry spots excessively. Then for foundations, I have two. I'm sure I've talked about these numerous times, but these were probably my standout products in 2015 because this is all I used. I think I even I even stopped using my Revlon color stay. Like, Revlon who? Like, these two guys right here, I've absolutely been in love with. You know, the Estee Lauder Double Wear, which as you can see is way too dark for me, but I got this when I was a little bit dark, darker. So then when I went ahead and discovered this guy right here, this is the Clinique Super Balanced Makeup. I mix these two together all the time, and my foundation looks so good, and it stays on all day long. Like, just all day long so um, it keeps me matte I mean on very rare occasions like if it's a super hot day or if I was wearing it for a while I mean it'll start to you know look a little bit shiny but 
that's like expected so these two right here though have definitely been my standout foundations for the year and I do really enjoy them and I'm actually finally running low on this one so I'll probably have to go ahead and repurchase it soon but in a shade lighter but love it amazing stuff also for the face this guy first can, can we just talk about how cute this is like seriously how cute is it um but this I, I don't even know what this is I have no idea what it is I've used it it's just a dream white magic cream I got this in a Mimi box and this panda as cute as it is works miracles for your face I mean miracles if you want your foundation to stay on your face for a week use this first I don't know what it is about this it's just this white cream I think when I read the little um like card that came with my Mimi box it said that it was supposed to be like a moisturizer I don't find it super moisturizing by any means it does like when you put it on it does have like a white cast that no matter how much I rub in it's just there which is fine because it's going underneath my foundation so I don't really care but it does help like with my redness like a smidge like it's just ever so slightly you can see like there's a hint of like white or like a cream on my face but this guy right here oh my goodness when I wear this like put this on first I've worn this by itself I've worn this and then put a primer on top like I've worn it so many different ways but no matter what whenever I wear this my foundation stays perfect all day long like all day long I don't have to touch it up I don't have to do anything I don't know what this is except panda's dream white magic cream like this is magic this is magic in a little panda right here so I believe this is by the brand Tony Moly maybe I'm not a hundred percent but if you are looking for it just do panda's dream white magic cream but I'm pretty sure that's the brand and do yourself a favor and pick this up I think I did try and look for it online once and I want to say it was around $18 but which isn't too bad considering a lot of like um skincare products or you know foundations and primers and things like that can you know be an upwards of like $40 sometimes um but guys like I'm telling you you need this in your life even if you don't want to use it on your face just look how cute it is just seriously look how cute it is <laughs> so yes this is this is like the best thing ever now moving on to a setting powder this is the it cosmetics bye bye pores and once again I this year I discovered just a plethora of like magic makeup like literally magical makeup because this stuff is the most finely milled translucent powder you have ever 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 felt and this stuff does an amazing job because I my whole entire face is a pore like I have pores all over my face the biggest ones I have and my problem areas are my cheeks and my forehead and I have a couple like spots on my chin that are like craters but this stuff in combination with all of my other magical stuff is amazing I've even used this like just a, on a day I mean it's not as good as when I go ahead and like use my other primers but like I just went ahead I forgot to do my primer one day like what was wrong with me I don't know but um I so I just had foundation on my face my moisturizer foundation and then so you know there's some pores you know showing through and everything like that but this stuff like and it doesn't look like it's filling it in it just erases them like they just disappear they become less noticeable and it's amazing and your skin feels so good afterwards it looks like a baby's butt like you have the most flawless skin of life and it's all thanks to this and I just love it so it's the it cosmetics bye bye pores this is the poreless finish it's a HD micro powder so I love this I use it all the time to set my face and it's, it's just incredible like I can't say enough things about it I do want to give a shout out to Max Emphasize Pro Sculpting Shaping Something Powder. I think that's the full name, but basically this is Max Emphasize. If you go on the site and search Emphasize, you'll find this. Um, Jaclyn Hill went ahead and used to use this all the time, and I finally went ahead and decided to get it, and it's amazing. It's so nice. It is the most beautiful, finely milled powder that just really subtly highlights my under eye area because that's where I put it it'll highlight wherever you put it but that's where I like to use it and I just love this the only thing I don't love about it is the price because it is a little bit expensive but like you only need a little bit I've been using this for over a year now and you can hardly see but there's like barely a little dent in there you know what I mean I've had it for a while so 
I love this stuff. I use it all the time and I would highly recommend it. So shout out to Max Emphasize for, you know, giving me that perfect under eye highlight and helping me look a little more awake on days where I've had no sleep. Moving on to mascara. I only have one mascara to share with you and it is a little size because I've just had so many samples over the course of the year. It's just lasted me, but it is the Tarte Lights Cameras Lashes. Nothing has come close to beating this. Every time, I mean, for high-end. My L'Oreal Telescopy, you guys know, will always, always, always win. But for high-end, this is what I've been using. Like, I've even put my L'Oreal Telescopic aside whenever I do have one of these to use because it is just so amazing. This is what the little brush looks like. And it is just a little brush of wonders because it just makes your lashes look so nice and it's long lasting. It doesn't flake on me. It doesn't smudge on me. And what more could you ask for in a mascara? Like really. Then moving on to lip products. I have two that I really like. One is more for the color and the other one is more for the formula. And the first one I have here for the color is the Anastasia or Anastasia. Um, Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade craft <sighs> this is just so beautiful so 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 beautiful these are really great I do like the formula for these um, I guess for a liquid lipstick because I do have a couple different formulas of a liquid lipstick and this one is really nice super pigmented dries down completely matte rather quickly I have had some where I'm like are they ever gonna dry but this one does dry down pretty quickly and this color it's just beautiful. I love it. I love it with a full face of makeup. I love it on days where I'm just rocking some mascara. And yeah, I just absolutely love this. So once again, that was Anastasia Beverly Hills Craft. Now, one lipstick that really stood out to me this year in terms of formula, and I wish it didn't because it is expensive, is the YSL Rouge Pure Couture lipsticks. I went ahead and I got this sent to me in an influencer box and I fell in love. Like they're so creamy, so moisturizing, so just everything you could possibly want in a lipstick and not to mention the color that they sent me along with another one but this here is just the most perfect color. Kind of similar, kind of similar to the uh liquid lipstick here if you guys can see so I guess I kind of do have a favorite color I guess for the year but this is just a beautiful formula it's pigmented it glides on it keeps your lips moisturized it does stay for a fair amount of time even when eating and talking and all of that stuff so I'd have to say shout out to YSL for doing a really good job on the formulation for these uh, lipsticks here and not to mention like this packaging hello how cute how just luxurious does it feel and look, you know what I mean? So I do really like these lipsticks. I wish I didn't because they are super expensive. One little um, eye primer I do want to go ahead and mention is the Bare Minerals 5-in-1. I went ahead and first was introduced to this in a Ipsy bag and then once I used that one all up, I did go ahead and purchase one for myself. This is just in the shade Soft Linen. I'm sure you guys have seen me use this in a variety of tutorials and everything like that. I love it because it does have a doe foot applicator. It's super opaque and it just does a really nice job at priming my lids so I really like it and it's easy to use so that is my favorite for the year and then I saved the best the best for last when it comes to makeup my all-time favorite shadow in the history of eyeshadows and I have a lot of eyeshadows is makeup geeks sugar rush pigment guys on my eyes right now. It is on my lips right now. On my eyes it looks like a pinky lavender. On my lips it is blue. Like this is perfection. You guys don't even understand. We just need we just need a moment to go ahead and just like look at this. Just look. So pretty. The only complaint I have is this packaging. First off when I got it the little sifter wasn't already in there like I had to go ahead and put it in there and as you can see it already made a mess in the lid and then to go ahead and push the sifter in was just a pain without trying to go ahead and make a mess and then this lid does not like it feels like it needs an oil job or something to go ahead and turn this on because it 
it like sticks it doesn't like close nicely so that is my only thing I have to gripe about about this one is the packaging I don't know if all of her little pigments are kind of like this if all the packagings are bad or if I just got a bad one but I don't even care because this this is like literally pure perfection I just am obsessed with this duochrome because it has a pinky blue ah! oh my god so yeah, this just has the most beautiful duochrome pinky turquoise blue to it. As you can see, the difference between having it on my eyes and having it on my lips over a black base versus a light base. Um, but I just feel like this is a universal pigment. Like, I feel like it's going to look good over so many different things and you'll never have the same look twice um, with this pigment. And this is just to die for. This is just amazing like I, I have nothing but good things to say about the actual product not so much the packaging but the product in here is just gold it is worth every penny I would probably pay $50 for this to be honest with you I think it was 12 but I'd pay like 50 bucks for this that's how amazing it is so makeup geeks sugar rush three things I have to talk about are all tools I guess you could say or not really like exactly makeup items but things you'd use for makeup or your tools and whatever you'll see what they are so first thing I have here is my beauty blender. This is a brand new one because I do have my old one here. As you can see, quite a difference. This one has been well loved, but I figured since it was dirty, I'd go ahead and I'd show you a nice brand new one. But this beauty blender here has changed my life. You guys know in the past, the Sigma F80 has always been my go-to brush, but now ever since I started using beauty blender, it's like Sigma who? Like this is the game changer for me. I love it because I can do my whole entire face. I don't have to switch brushes or anything. This will do my concealer. This will do my foundation, everything. So I absolutely love it. It just gives you a flawless finish as long as you go ahead and wet it. I, I haven't used it dry. I wouldn't use it dry, but um, absolutely love this product. It's such, it's worth it for sure. If you want just perfect, blended, beautiful foundation. Then this little guy right here is from e.l.f. and this is the Makeup Lock and Seal. And I did purchase this towards the end of the year, but it is still a yearly favorite because I've never had anything quite like this and it's awesome. I use this whenever I want to go ahead and put pigments on my lid or if I want to foil anything or if I want to give them something to stick to and make them wet first. This is amazing. This is better than any like adhesive I've used or like primer or anything like that and it doesn't it doesn't burn my eyes it dries really fast though like it does come with like a little a little container here I have it it just comes with it and you go ahead and pour it in there but if you leave it in there like within five minutes the liquid in here like completely evaporates um and yeah when you put it on your eyes it's it's just perfect like it doesn't burn my eyes it doesn't get cold or anything like that and I just really really like this stuff and I want to say it was only three dollars so for three dollars you really cannot go wrong and this is like the best product I've ever used to go ahead and work with pigments to actually make them manageable and rounding off my yearly favorites, I do want to go ahead and give a shout out to the e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleaner. This stuff is awesome because I am a fairly lazy person and I don't wash my brushes nearly as much as I should, but this definitely makes it a lot more easier to go ahead and manage my brushes when like changing between brushes that I've used for a darker eyeshadow when I want to use light shadows and things like that. Plus, this stuff smells so good. I like I don't even know what it smells like but it just smells so fresh and clean and I just love the scent in this like this was literally the first thing I noticed when I spray this I was like wow this smells amazing so um it's, I definitely do love using this for just you know like spot cleaning my brushes and things like that um I I haven't used it on any of like my heavier brushes like let's say a foundation brush or things like that concealer brush um I really only use it for my eyeshadow brushes and it does a really good job at switching between colors for like my eyeshadow brushes my eyeliner brushes things like that so um yeah I but the scent the scent is just so so good to me <laughs> Alrighty guys, so that is everything I wanted to share with you guys in my 2015 yearly favorites video. I am so glad I finally got to go ahead and share these things with you guys because I felt bad. Like I felt like I was keeping a secret, like not sharing these with you guys because they're just so amazing. They're like life changing. Um, so I'm glad I finally got to go ahead and share them with you all. And I do want to mention that if you stumbled across this video and are not subscribed to me, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video and it'll be really easy for you. And yeah, 
so that is everything I thank you guys so much for watching and definitely leave me your favorites like your all-time favorites in the comments below because I want to know what they are I shared mine with you share yours with me so yeah that is everything I thank you guys so much for watching and as always I cannot wait to talk to you on my next video bye